All right, let's get this party started. Welcome to 25 Days of Suggestions 2024. I cannot believe it, guys, but it's December 1st, which means that it's time to start one of my favorite series on the channel every year, 25 Days of Suggestions, where every day leading up to Christmas in December, I review a car that was suggested by you guys. We've got everything all set up. We've got the Cars Mini Christmas Tree ready. And this year, for the first time ever, I'm very excited to announce that the tree, check this out, has lights. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Guys, I'm so excited. I can't believe it's already December. It really feels like December snuck up on me this year. I think it's because of how late Thanksgiving was, not gonna lie. It, it kind of threw me off. It's crazy to think we're already in December 1st, but we got everything ready. We got the tree with its new lights. We got the nice little red paper here. We've got Shifty Sidewinder. Poor guy, probably won't be reviewed for a while, but it's okay, Shifty. You could watch all the other cars get reviewed during 25 days. And we, of course, also have the Mini Racers Advent Calendar, which we'll be opening up at the start of each review. But who are we reviewing today? Well, we're going to be starting off 25 Days of Suggestions with a bang. For those of you who don't know, every day for 25 Days of Suggestions, I review a car that was suggested by you guys in the comments of my 25 Days of Suggestions announcement video, which I posted a few days back. This year, we got over 60 suggestions, and since I announced it a bit later than usual because of how late Thanksgiving was this year, and I always like getting my announcement video out after Thanksgiving, I'm leaving suggestions open for the next few days, and I'll be closing them December 5th. So if you would like to suggest a car and haven't been able to yet, please follow the link to the video that you'll find in the pinned comment, um, which will bring you to the 25 Days of Suggestions rule video, so you can suggest a car on your own for this year. But our first review for this year is a pretty exciting one. The random name picker has chosen the Carrier, a new custom that I created for Cars Adventures and recently debuted in a season this year. What a great start. First episode of 25 Days of Suggestions 2024 is a new custom I made for 2024. Hello everybody and welcome back to another review for the first day of 25 Days of Suggestions 2024. We're going to be taking a look at the carrier suggested by Cool Awesome Miners. Thank you so much for the suggestion as always. Thank you to everyone who suggested this year. Again, we got over 60 this year uh, and it's going to be really cool and interesting seeing what the random name picker chooses each day. I was not expecting to start off with a custom. I don't think we've ever started off with a custom before, so it's going to be super cool. But before we take a closer look at him, we of course have to open up today on the Mini Racers Advent Calendar. Every year, day one is the same. I think we all know what it's going to be already. Of course, in my haul video yesterday, I said that I'm not the biggest fan of this year's calendar since so much of it is reused by la uh, from last year. So much of it is the exact same, but we're still going to have as much fun as we can, even if I mainly just want it for the new sheriff and everything else is kind of reused. I think we all know that in day one, we're going to be getting... That's right, McQueen. Same as every year. Every year, we get same McQueen in the advent calendar and it's a really nice item i love that it's a mini version of holiday hot shot mcqueen and i also really like that it isn't metallic the regular mattel 155 scale holiday hot shot mcqueen has always been metallic but i like that the mini racers chose not to do that because honestly looking at the illustrations of him in the mater saves christmas book really nothing says that he is metallic so i like that they kind of did their own separate take although i would love if one year they swapped out this mcqueen with a metallic variant of him it would be a really nice easy way to make a new car for the advent calendar but hey this is now you know the uh the fourth year that we've had him would it be fifth let's see 2020 21 22 23 24 yeah this is the fifth uh advent calendar that uh this same mcqueen is coming he looks good though if you don't have him of course these advent calendars are the only way you could get these exclusive holiday variants of the characters every year 
looking pretty nice as always with that nice shiny white base and wheels that really cool paint scheme but now of course let's take a closer look at the carrier this year for cars adventures i introduced a whole new crew of villains with yojimbo's gang in japan and the carrier is of course one of the most significant ones i knew that since i don't have all that many tuners that i haven't introduced in cars adventures before i would have to combine tuners that I haven't used and have recently gotten with new custom characters. And luckily for me, Robin Tailsfighter sent me a spare Wingo a few months back, so I decided to repaint that into a brand new character. Wingo is a very distinct character, of course, so our goal from the beginning, ever since we decided that he would send me a spare Wingo alongside all the other cars he sent me, was to cut off the spoiler and turn it into a new unique character. And I honestly think that's worked pretty well. I quite like the design of the care of the, the carrier of this character. Almost got the words character and the carrier confused there. Yeah, I love the design for this character, the carrier. Uh, especially because it doesn't really look like Wingo anymore, does it? I cut down the spoiler and that already makes it look so drastically different. I really, really like that design choice that I did there. Cutting off the spoiler, making it look like a more distinct character. It, of course, has the distinct shaping that Wingo has still, but, you know, without that spoiler, he looks a bit more like his own guy, like the other sort of Tokyo Mater background characters, kind of a bit more like Komodo. But what doesn't look like anything we saw in Tokyo Mater is, of course, the design I chose to give him. It was pretty difficult to figure out what to do with this character's design, but I really like what I came up with. Up first, we have this striking red design for the eyes. This is supposed to be like a visor, sort of sunglasses. If you look at Wingo in the first movie, we all know he has this sort of green shade that can go over and cover his eyes. It's sort of supposed to be like that. He's wearing this sort of red visor. I don't know, maybe he looks a bit like Cyclops from the X-Men or something like that, but he's got this red visor, which I think makes him look pretty cool, pretty intimidating, and I think that also helps him look a bit more different from Wingo. You've got the color scheme of black and orange with a red stripe there. Originally, I was going to do black and yellow, but I decided to just do orange instead. I liked how it looked a bit better, so I covered up the yellow with orange. You can actually see some uh, yellow peeking out through with my new camera and how good the camera quality is now. I kind of can't excuse some of the uh, more poorly painted areas you know but this camera is picking up things that i probably wouldn't notice on the car you can definitely see some yellow speckles there still we have this black logo on the hood i really didn't have anything specific in mind when designing this i thought it was just a cool little design um maybe i could have used this sort of logo on other characters or something like that i don't know i just needed something that would make the car not look as blank originally i was going to keep the hood blank there but i decided let me just throw a little logo on there to make it have a bit more going on i think i was kind of inspired by manji and the concept of just having a, a details on one side of the car um when doing that hood logo of course that red stripe carries over all the way across the car including the spoiler i really like that i fully colored the spoiler to match the other parts of the car something i would not have ever been able to do if i kept that original wingo spoiler of course We've got the all black over here which i think looks pretty slick maybe i should have colored in the wheels i don't know what i would have done maybe like a like a nice red could have worked for the wheels but i do really like how the car looks from this angle from this side all the different colors makes him look so different depending on how you hold him he's gonna look like this in the thumbnail i think it looks so cool with the whole black part over here which you don't really see all that much from this side i think this side also looks pretty cool and unique you know depending on how you hold him you're gonna get a completely different look of the car and i think that's a really cool benefit of how distinct his color scheme and design is I also like the fact that I didn't really go like fully halfway. It's kind of like like two thirds of him are orange or yellow, and then one third or maybe a little less of him is painted black. Of course, that pattern continues onto the back as well and onto the other side, just like I showed. So in the end, I think this was a pretty good custom design on my end. Really not 
anywhere close to the most detailed custom I've ever done, but my goal was to make an imposing, threatening character and make it a distinct looking tuner car, and I think I did that pretty well. I do have some other tuner style customs that I think I prefer to the carrier here. There are some other ones that I definitely like a bit more since at the end of the day, this design is pretty simplistic, but I like how I use the colors here, and a lot of you guys seem to really connect with this character design. I mean, someone suggested it for 25 days after all. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, once again, Cool Awesome Miners, for the suggestion. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next day of suggestions. Bye now.